Greetings, fair earthlings. I am Smelly B, and I'd like to welcome you either to or back to my channel where the topic of conversation is all fragrance all the time. I hope that the sound is okay in this room. The ceilings are real high and it's sort of spacious, so I hope the sound isn't ping ponging all off the walls. Um, but I wanted to record somewhere different today, uh, so I am. I don't have anything brand spanking new or anything to talk about, but I said when I feel like doing it, I will sit down and do it. Um, I'm just going to tell y'all about what I've been wearing since the last time I uh, sat down to do a review. Um, a couple of things from my collection I had completely forgotten I even owned, but haven't read you all's comments. Um, y'all made mention of a couple things, and I was just like, oh, I do have that. Let me pull it out. One of the things was Rebel by Rihanna. And thank you, I can't remember who it was that made mention of um, uh, you were wearing it. It made me pull mine out too. And I'm falling in love with it all over again. I love that fragrance. Um, and then also, someone mentioned um, Jill Sanders' son, son uh, talking about the feminine version. I own the, ma the male one, and I've always loved it. And I um, forgot I had it. I just have so much stuff that I take my collection for granted often. So I appreciate when y'all bring things that trigger, jog my memory, make me like, oh, wait, I have that. I dig it out and get to just feel like I bought something brand new, something I totally forgot I had. Um, but we'll start with Rebel since I mentioned it. Uh, I guess I did I wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Rebel by Rihanna. Mm -hmm. It's in the same bottle as um, there's a nude, there is the regular uh, Rebel, um, which is in the black bottle. Is there another one? I think that's the three. I don't think there's another one, but I think of the three, this one is my favorite. Um, I want to say it's got a strawberry note. Yeah, hold on, in the top. Yeah, top notes are big strawberry, ginger and plum, mids are cacao, orchid and heliotrope. The base notes are coffee, patchouli, amber and musk. This smell is so addictive to me. It's chocolatey and it's got a lipsticky, waxy thing going on somehow to me. Um, you definitely get the strawberry. It, it's succulent to me. It's vampy and deep. It's wonderful for evening wear. Although I enjoy it in the cold in the day also. I, it, this is a beautiful fragrance. Thank you to, I do not remember honestly who commented, reminded me of this, but I'm so glad you did because I've been sleeping on this joint. Um, so Rihanna Rebell. I've also been, um, well, let's keep on the, let me pull out uh, the other one that someone mentioned and it's what made me pull it out. Uh, Sun Men, I have to, um, I forget your name, forgive me, but you know who you are. You, I'm going to get the um, the feminine version also because you, you've definitely uh, jogged my, my interest. I'm definitely interested, but the Sun Men is the one that I, I've always um, owned and that's because I used to date a guy who used to wear this and oh, I just loved it on him and, and I like it on my skin also. It layers well with something. Oh, it's just such a unique smell. I really like this. Okay, the notes. I want to say there's a ginger note in here. I could be wrong as hell. Let's see. Um, top notes are bergamot and rosemary. The bergamot is noticeable. Um, mids are cardamom and nutmeg. It's the nutmeg I was thinking about. I said ginger. Um, nutmeg. The base notes are musk and sandalwood. Oh, I really like this fragrance. It's beautiful. I like this one in the fall a lot. It's sort of the spring fall. It's the more moderate uh, temperatures where it's not too hot, not too cold. I think this one dances really, really nicely in the air in that type of weather. Jill Sanders, Sun Men. I'm trying to move fast because I don't want to do long videos. Next, um, I've been wearing my... Um, did I bring it out? Where is it? Dang it, I thought I was ready. Oh, hold on again. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, White Diamonds Night. Um, I don't know why it's called Night, aside from the fact that they put it in a black bottle. I mean, it, it is a really light fragrance. It's real apricot to me. Um, yeah, like apricot, like a soapy apricot of some, like a powdery apricot soap is what it smells like to me. It doesn't give me night at all. This is not a fragrance I would think of for evening. I wear it during the day. It dries really soft and it's just a lovely fragrance. It's inoffensive. I have a guy, guy friend who really, really likes this one. That's why I pulled it out to be honest. He says it's nostalgic for him. It reminds him of something. I cannot say what. I don't know, but he, he likes this one a lot. He really enjoys it. So 
been rocking this white diamonds night. Um, let's see what the notes actually are. I'm sorry, I almost skipped over that part. Launched in 2016. Top notes are apricot, mandarin orange, bergamot. Nibs are night blooming jasmine and freesia. The freesia does come across also. Base notes are resin, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. It's a simple fragrance. It's nothing super complex about it. I like it. It, it is uh, unique. I can't think of another fragrance that smells like it, at least not in my collection. Um, I enjoy it. And like I said, I have a male friend who enjoys it also. So that's a nice one. Um, La Fin du Monde by Etat Libre d'Orange. <laughs> Etat Libre d'Orange, however you say it. Um, I like this one. This one isn't going to be for everybody, though. It is very, very cosmetic y, very lipstick y, waxy kind of thing going on. But it also has like a metallic element to it. Smoky. Not 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 smoky in the sense of like a like burning, more literal smoke. Like the, the smoke itself, not the fire. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> Let's see what the the notes actually are. I feel like I talked about this on camera long ago, once before, but um Let's see what the notes are. Okay, so popcorn, gunpowder, carrot seeds, iris, sesame, styrax, cumin, black pepper, ambrette, vetiver, sandalwood, and freesia. It is a, a very layered, dynamic, complex, different, unusual, unique fragrance, and I like it. It's right up my alley. You know, I'm not one for smelling quote unquote good or you know smelling all you know I don't like perfume and perfume I like for stuff to tell a story and be interesting and this definitely accomplishes that for me again not for everybody it's not going to be a crowd pleaser um not a blind buy but I really like this one it smells like a it, it, it smells like all the things like everything I named is here <laughs> I really like this really like that one um, I've been getting a lot of wear out of this. Solar, I picked this up on like TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. Solar Floral by The Good Scent, which I had never heard of. I just happened to come across um, this brand in my TJ Maxx. I sniffed this and it was like really familiar to me. I was like, what does this smell like? It smells like something I have. And I figured it out. It smells quite a bit like, not 100%, I'd say maybe a smooth 85%, like my um, Amazing Grace uh, Jasmine that this is one that I buy rotating. Like as soon as I empty a bottle, I buy another. Like I, I never run out of this until I found this. After I bought this, I didn't bother to replace um, my, my last helping, if you will, of, of this one because this one is close enough and it satisfies me. The wear is wonderful on it. It's very jasmine-y. I think, feel like this one is a little more indolent than this one is. This one is a really sort of soft, clean jasmine. It's a soapy, fresh smell. I don't know where to find the notes on this. I couldn't find it on Fragrantica. And I don't know much about the brand. So if you do, educate me. I'd love to know what else they have. But I really enjoy this one. This is Solar Floral by The Good Scent. I really like this. I really like this. This I like. Um, lastly, because I don't want this video to last too long. Um, any of you all pick up the... The new Jimmy Choo, the I Want You Forever. There's an I Want You, which I think is 10 out of 10. Fantastic. I love that fragrance. It is addictive. I love that fragrance. It's fruity and juicy and just so good. Um, and this one is good, too. It's not that one for me. Like, I definitely prefer that one. That one's a lot more interesting to me, but this one is good. It's yet another cherry fragrance, but I think this one's rose in the top and the cherry sort of happens in the middle. It's like a deep, vampy, juicy, like syrupy kind of a cherry to me, if you will. And it's got some nice some nice florals around it. It is a really nice fragrance. The longevity on it is shit. <laughs> I have to carry it with me and keep spraying it over and over. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about it. I, I think the other one performs a little better. And I like the smell of the other one better also, but this one, this one's pretty good. It's, it's, I, I think this one probably pretty crowd pleasing. This is probably one of my more crowd pleasing fragrances that I own. I can't f see anyone finding anything wrong with this. 
it's nice. If you own other cherry fragrances, I would not recommend going to get it though. It's not. It's nothing to sing a shout about, but it is really, really nice. Um, to get the notes out of the way, um, top notes are rose, yes, bitter almond. Mids are cherry, vetiver, and jasmine. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, oak moss. God, I love. Love this. I wish it would stay like this the whole time. But again, the longevity is really, really shit. It wears off and you can't find it on yourself. At least I can't. Maybe I go with my husband to it. Maybe it's my nose, but it doesn't stay with me long enough. And I, I really want to enjoy the fragrance. So, yeah, da 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 da. Um, best notes vanilla, tonka bean, oak moss, and amber. Give it a sniff. I found mine in Ulta, I think it was, in Ulta. Good enough, you know. Safe Blind Buy is a gift, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. I think it'd be a great gift if you're a guy wanting to buy something. You don't even got to be a guy, you know. You want to buy something for your, your your person or whatever, your lady. I think it's a, you know, safe pickup. I can't foresee anyone not liking it. All right? That's it. That's all. What y'all been rocking? I, I like um, seeing y'all answers now that um, y'all reminded me of my rebel and my son, man. Like, what else y'all rocking? Because it might make me dig something else out of my collection that I forgot a dog on hand. <laughs> um, that's it. That's all. That engage me in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you all. I try to get to most of them. Sometimes I miss notifications because with all the different apps and all the different things, I just, I miss things. So forgive me. It's not me intentionally overlooking any of you, I promise. And sometimes I'm real late to answer and stuff. You'd be able to say something two months ago, and then here I come talking about, hey, girl, look, please just forgive me and bear with me. Um, I hope you are well. Till next time I upload with y'all, who knows when it'll be. I'll, I'll pop up on you like I always do. I'm tired. Forgive me. My energy is low, but um, I just wanted to check in with y'all, all right? Uh, hope you're well. Till next time.